a plane! It's Superman! Yeah! And also, the one that is deserved, what not the one that it needs. And also, there's a guy's movie me act here. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna wear the hat, it's too stupid. Anyways, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a Batman mask with a Superman t-shirt, you know, that's a little weird and often. I'm talking about the Comic-Con's biggest news ever, other than a Godzilla trailer that should come out pretty soon, ever, Man of Steel 2 with Superman and Batman. I'm not kidding. It's a crossover between... Superman and Batman. I am not kidding. It's actually happening. A crossover between Superman and Batman. How awesome is that? I always wanted that when I was a kid. It's like Pacific Rim. I, I always want to see it. Uh, a movie when I was a kid about giant monster versus giant robots. Finally happened. I want to see a movie about a Superman and a Batman movie. Finally, it's happening. Why is it always happening when I'm just a teenager? I don't know. But it's going to be awesome. Now, with, now, I didn't go to Comic-Con or anything, because, trust me, I'm not going to tell you where I live, but I'll just say I do not live anywhere in California. So, yeah, but, you know, I, I couldn't make it. But, you know, then I watched this interesting video about this one guy who plays as the general in Man of Steel. He comes up, and he gives us some sort of speech or a, a quote from Batman. He's just like, I want you... My hand at your throat. I want you to remember the one man who beat you. That is Batman from the Dark Knight Returns graphic novel. I mean, this, this, this is where he got the quote from. This graphic novel, and this is actually my favorite graphic novel. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. I mean. If you just look at it, it's so creepy and stuff, you know? And I was just looking at this, I'm like, wait, is Man of Steel actually focusing on the Dark Knight Returns? Well, it shouldn't, because, you know, it still has to be a Superman movie. And then I was also thinking, just from hearing that quote, I was just like, okay, I'm probably guessing that in this Superman and Batman crossover, they're not going to be that friendly. I mean... Maybe. I mean, maybe. I mean, maybe at the end or something, they'll, like, work it out each other and, like, fight evil, but... Maybe they'll start with, like, the Avengers. Like, how when when all the the Avengers meet, they're just like, Nuh-uh, I just hate you already. Like, you know, I was imagining if Batman would do the same thing for Superman. So, it will be, like, a Batman versus Superman sort of thing. And then later, they'll start to work it out at the end. Now, let me just tell you, I am hyped for this. This sounds really cool. The only problem is, I have to wait till 2015. Ugh. Why is it always whenever I'm hearing lots of great news that's going on, and I have to wait for like a year or two to wait for it? That's stupid. That's like waiting another year for a Godzilla movie. Ugh. By the way, I'm still really looking forward for a trailer when Comic -Con, for the Comic-Con. Yeah. But, you know, there's all this stuff at Comic-Con that's going on around. I mean, I heard about the Amazing Spider-Man 2 stuff. I heard about Justice League. I heard about Star Wars. I heard about Guardians of the Galaxy. But seriously, I think this is literally the biggest, biggest news or biggest movie news I've actually ever heard this year. I mean, even they show the logo. Look at the logo. Look how cool that is. Even the Bat logo. It looks sort of different. It doesn't look like the Christopher Nolan Batman logo. It looks way different. So that maybe shows that it's maybe not from the that this Batman is not from the Christopher Nolan movies. I mean, it's not gonna be the gurgly voice, Christian Bale, or it's not gonna be that this kind of regular voice from Joseph Leverett Gordon. I mean, it's gonna be a different Batman. So I totally get that. But I wonder who should play as Batman. Well, me, obviously me, because you know, if you just look at me. In this costume, mostly the mask, you can totally tell I'm a great Batman. 
No, seriously, come on. Just calm, calm it down if you really, if I really do look like a perp for, for Batman. Actually, no, just say it out. Say it out, I look like a good Batman. Come on. Come on, guys. Say it. Say it. I'm not going to keep continuing the review if you don't say it. There you go. Just what I wanted to hear. Yeah, so, but for real, if I had... But for real, for any celebrity, I think it should be Eric Banda as, um, Batman. I mean, you know, he kind of looks like a, uh, you know, he kind of looks like Christian Bale a little bit. He kind of, he kind of sounds like him. Even he was the Hulk in that one Ang Lee movie. Hulk. He was pretty good in that one, so I imagine he kind of looks like Christian Bale from the Dark, from the Dark Knight movies. So, I guess he could be like that. I mean, if they're trying to find some sort of Christopher Nolan Batman actor... I kind of suggest Eric Benda. I think it would be pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, as for this Man of Steel sequel, it does uh, center around with Batman, but I also, well, also wonder, it should stick with Superman since the title is called Man of Steel 2, and also the original cast is going to be back. Let's just hope they don't bring uh, Kevin Costner back, because I didn't really care for his role, and I hope they make Amy Adams a little better, because she was okay in Steel. But yeah, but still, I'm literally excited for this movie. Are you? You should be. And that's my ultimate question today. Like and subscribe, check out my other videos, they're really cool. See ya.